an SNES fighter as the final Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighter? Well, we dive into theories and talk all about this. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. There's been a resurgence of a lot of people talking about Smash Brothers Ultimate's newcomers, and of course, franchises that are not already represented in the game. Now, there's a lot to be said that that final fighter could be a character that is already from a franchise represented in Smash. I mean, it's already even happened in this past. If you look at Xenoblade characters, you know, Pyra and Mithra, and then of course, also, we have the same exact situation with having Sephiroth in the game. That was, of course, also already in there with Final Fantasy from Cloud. But a lot of people are wondering, what if a brand new franchise would make it into the game, but not a franchise that is new per se, a franchise that has been decades, decades old, and that is loved by fans the world over? Well, that is Chrono Trigger. And Chrono Trigger is a game for the SNES that a lot of people hold super dear to their hearts. And of course, the art style is Akira Toriyama, which of course is also the same art style as Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, all of that stuff. So people would really see the connection here already. And there are a lot of people that actually feel like Chrono Trigger's Marl or Marley could be the last Smash Brothers fighter to be added to the game. There are a lot of different theories and people thinking that this is possible and I wanted to dive into all of that because I think there are of course you know strong female characters in Smash already. This passes Alex and Min Min and Pyra and Mithra, so I think that it's incredible to maybe add one more in this pass, just to balance also what happened in the previous pass, where essentially we would just be happy with, yeah, I mean, Kazooie and, you know, the female Byleth are like female, right? So I think that it's really cool that they're picking up the pace. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about an SNES rep and of course Chrono Trigger as a whole. So if you want to send in your questions, your thoughts, your feedback to Block Content, that's really easy. Just send an email to blockcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your questions here live on the show. Look forward to talking about your comment. So, ScreenRant.com, originally posted by Justin Loveland, talks about Chrono Trigger making its way into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And this is a big deal for people that are huge fans of the genre because it could also bring a moveset to Smash Bros. Ultimate that would be a little bit different in the way that it works. It would just be a little bit similar to maybe what Dragon Quest's hero could do, but in a very Chrono Trigger style. So, why Chrono Trigger's Marley could be Smash Bros. Ultimate's last downloadable content fighter. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's final DLC character could be Marley from the classic RPG Chrono Trigger. And here's what makes her, well, a worthy final pick for the game. With only one DLC fighter yet to be added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, there are characters from a number of properties currently not represented in the game that could claim the final spot on the roster. Chrono Trigger, 1995's popular time travel RPG, is one such game, and it could see some acknowledgement in the form of a playable character. In particular, the character Marley may fit well in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's roster. Marley is not Chrono Trigger's main protagonist, though that has not deterred Smash characters' picks in the past. After all, Pyra and Mithra of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 joined Super Smash Bros. Ultimate instead of the game's main protagonist, Rex. Despite not filling the main protagonist's role, Marl's actions are what set the plot of Chrono Trigger in motion, and she is a pivotal member of the main cast. More importantly, her abilities could translate to a fresh and unique character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in a number of ways. Well, what Smash Bros. final new stage could be? As a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Marley could offer techniques that few other characters focus on. Marley wields a crossbow, a weapon that no Smash Bros. character to date has officially utilized. In addition to being able to snipe distant opponents, Marley could bludgeon an enemy with the stock of her crossbow if it approached her in Chrono Trigger, which could be implemented into her basic attacks. Given how some Smash fans are tired of sword fighters being added, this might offer more variety than Chrono Trigger's sword-wielding main character, Chrono. And of course also, this could maybe be a forward tilt move that they're talking about. I think that that would fit quite well. 
A Chrono Trigger character can add important history to Smash Bros. Ultimate. In addition to Marley, well, she specializes in ice and recovery magic, something only a few characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate are capable of. Her special moves could include offensive spells to freeze opponents, as well as the ability to heal herself or even teammates with her curative magic. Chrono Trigger has a wealth of history and content that could be added to Smash Bros. Ultimate with the inclusion of Marley. Given the game's initial release in 1995, Marley could be older than many of the Smash Bros. Ultimate characters. Just as Smash Bros. acknowledges the legacy and importance of characters like Mr. Game & Watch and Pac-Man, it can acknowledge Chrono Trigger's importance to the RPG genre and Marley's status as a classic. RPG character. Her inclusion would also be more than likely in coming with the music of Chrono Trigger's legendary soundtrack, composed in large part by the acclaimed Masunori Mitsuda. This, coupled with a multitude of possible characters to add as spirits and a new stage, it could be treat for older fans and a discovery for newer ones. Of course, there are a number of popular characters Marley would have to compete with to become Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's final character. Characters such as Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Master Chief from Halo, and Crash Bandicoot, the platforming mascot, are all among some of Smash Bros. fans' most requested final DLC characters. Still, Chrono Trigger's place in gaming makes Marley's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate a definite possibility. So I'm really curious if you guys have any specific thoughts on Chrono Trigger. Did you grow up playing the game? Did you just hear about it later? Or did you play it on some virtual console? Let me know in the comments down below because I would really want to know if you guys have grown up with this game, if you have any connection to the characters, and why should it be Marley and not Chrono himself, right? A lot of people would say that it would be a little bit too similar to already Dragon Quest character heroes look in the game. And of course, also in terms of voice acting and stuff like that, and being a sword wielder, well, it could could be a little bit too similar. So let me know in the comments down below. And if you comment down below, that could actually be featured and of course put into our next video. And today's comment question is, do you want a Chrono Trigger fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, JC Butterfly. You're my butterfly, sugar. <laughs> so he says, yes, blot content, the fans will pick the final downloadable content Fighters Pass 2, and it will be Crash, Rayman, Phoenix Wright, Doomslayer, Master Chief, Sora, and so many more characters. So we had to find out what happens next during the Game Awards. And of course, Mr. Sakurai is in charge to the final character, and it will be the best show ever. During the Game Awards 2021, it might be over right now, except the DLC Me Fighters costume round 11. Don't worry about it, okay? This is going to be epic. So, what's it going to be? Your thoughts? Well, JC Butterfly, thank you so much for sending in your comment and for really, you know, sending a comment that you actually ask me a question in. I think that that doesn't really happen a lot on block content, so thank you. Well, what do I think of this? There are a couple of characters that you mentioned. I think Crash has a huge shot because I think that, you know, the partnership there is just incredible and the game's appearing on the Switch. Make it feel like they've been working towards that partnership for the longest time. Crash right now isn't at the top of a lot of people's tongues and isn't really in the conversation, but he was and people are just forgetting because because other people are taking the spotlight, but Crash could definitely happen. Now, Rayman, I think, isn't all that likely anymore, just because Ubisoft doesn't really like to do anything with Rayman anymore, and the Rabbits are bigger characters right now. I think Rabbits might be introduced as a playable fighter in the next Smash game, not Rayman. Phoenix Wright we talked about in a previous video, and Phoenix Wright would make sense. I really don't want to see that because I've already played as Phoenix Wright in another crossover fighter, and there's no real interest to do that again in Smash Brothers, on my part at least. Doom Slayer would be incredible, very, very powerful, and a lot of cool moves. I think that that would be very fun to see, and I would love to see how Nintendo handles that. And Master Chief is one of my favorite characters in gaming of all time, and all of those different moves could lend perfectly to Smash. Sora, Kingdom Hearts, I love that so much, but, you know, the situation with Disney is going to be difficult, but if Sora makes it in, that would shake the internet, and I would absolutely love it, because Sora is very near and dear to my heart as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and you can, of course, support Blocked Content through Patreon. It's patreon.com slash blocked content, and you can actually send us a donation that makes sure that we get to make daily content like this, and you even get to decide what our next videos are all about. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to Blocked Content right 
right now, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya. Thank you.